In our discussion so far, we have considered oscillations with damping, where the amplitude decays with time. But what happens if, in addition to the damping, we add energy into the system to keep its oscillations going? Let's learn more on that. If we want to make a system to keep on oscillating in real world scenario, we need to apply a force in the opposite direction to the damping and in the direction of restoring force. Let's consider an example of swing. If you push it once and leave it, the swing will oscillate and come to rest due to the frictional force or damping. During oscillations, due to the damping, the total energy of the system keeps decreasing on every cycle of oscillation. So it won't go to the same high point every time. To maintain the energy of the system, we must give some energy after every oscillation, but at the right time. In this case, we do it by pushing the swing when it reaches the negative maximum amplitude position. Now, the oscillations are forced. The system gains energy and will reach the same high point again and again until we stop applying this force. This phenomenon where the system performs simple harmonic motion under an external force is known as forced simple harmonic motion or forced oscillations. If we apply the force repeatedly and match the natural frequency of the swing, the amplitude of the swing will increase. This phenomenon is called resonance, where you match the frequency of your force application with the natural frequency of the system. This is all about forced oscillations.